It may be the most powerful rocket ever, but Starship was meant to fly, launching once again this morning. And for the first time, it completed its test flight. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lewis Folden. And I'm Justin Mormuth. Bridget is off today. News 6's Mark Lehman has been monitoring the launch all morning and brings us the latest. The most powerful rocket ever built, lifting off once again from Boca Chica, Texas. In this fourth test flight for SpaceX's Starship, mission managers said the payload was data with a goal of getting the ship through re-entry. We're seeing 32 out of 33 engines lit on the Super Heavy right now. SpaceX looking to make strides from the last test in March. Starship's success is crucial as NASA is counting on using the rocket to land the Artemis three astronauts on the moon. Stage separation confirmed. For today's flight, the Super Heavy booster detached and made a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. And we have splashdown! Congratulations to the SpaceX team! After the booster splashdown, Starship continued on its trip in space. Uh, the spacecraft didn't completely orbit the Earth, but instead demonstrated a capability of orbital flight. Then the final test was on deck, bringing Starship home. A view from on board showing the extreme heat as the ship made its way through the atmosphere. Looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Minutes before splashdown in the Indian Ocean, the temps became overwhelming. It's safe to say the ship's getting a little beat up, but that's to be expected on a test flight. Even with the damage, it appears Starship was still able to return mostly intact. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeting it was a soft landing despite the loss of heat tiles and a damaged flap. It's something engineers will now be looking at as the development process continues. Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.